The Laval Rockets currently sit in 26th place in the AHL. I don't know, just because the big team's doing it doesn't mean you got to follow in their <laughs> footsteps. How concerned should Canadian fans be about the Rockets' poor performance? I, I, I guess it's not so much that they're in last place, but what it says to me is that they have not drafted well. You could look at a team and say, well, they got all the players, the better players that were down there up with the big team. And that's probably true too. That's why they're doing bad. But this team has not made the playoffs since Mark Bergeron has been they there. They made it last One. year. They made it last year and they went out in the first yeah. round. Okay. And yeah. lost that in four straight yeah. games. But yeah. again, yeah. It, the, the record is not good from the get-go. And when you talk about building the team through the draft in the five or six years, now the six years he's been here, they haven't done that. No. No. And that's why this team struggles and suffers like they are right now. I just can't believe that Sylvain Lefebvre still has his job. That he, like we just said, he made the playoffs once. They got bounced in four games, so it really wasn't an impressive run that they had. And yet, year after year, his job is safe, and it's become just part of the organization that their farm team is not going to be good. And Mark Bergevin says, yeah, but I want the guys to go out there and play and get ice time. Yeah, but they're not around anyone that's going to help them elevate their game then what's even the point? You need to have some restructuring. They put Larry Carriere as the GM to just focus on it because before it was uh, Mark Bergevin doing both teams. And there hasn't been much improvement at all. Well, Sylvain Lefebvre, Bergie's buddies, right? Yeah. Sylvain Lefebvre, J.J. Daniel. It's, you know, it's, it's somebody mentioned, uh, I can't remember what it was on radio, was saying that uh, this is what happens when you hire your friends instead of the best people available. You know, how you hire J.J. Daniel instead of Larry Robinson, the coach of your defense, and you pay a price. But with Laval, you talk about a winning culture, there's no winning culture anywhere in this organization now. It's losing. These kids who have played in, in for the farm team for three, four years have played four playoff games. Yeah. If they're like they're, they have no playoff experience whatsoever. They're losing. It's got to be a bad attitude in Laval also. And the fact they're in Laval, I think it's even more important that they win. They're close to Montreal. You're trying to sell tickets there. You're trying to bring people out. It's a beautiful arena. It's a great place to go watch a game, but it's a bad hockey team. And, uh, there, and there's nobody, there's no... Nothing to look down there. Nikita Sherback, you know, okay, he's a guy, but they send him back down there again. I don't understand that move, but I think it's just, it's a losing culture and it starts right from Laval and works its way right up the, the Canadians. Stu, do you think they're all in a Facebook group called Bergie's Buddies? <laughs> <laughs> they have matching tattoos. That's it. I wouldn't want to be part of that group. Uh, go to hockeyinsideout.com right now and check out this week's full episode. <laughs>